All right, Fight Fans, coming up now, we've got the babyface Chase Holly against Mark Cano. It's a 155-pound matchup. Chase out of uh, Team Chaos. Got his uh, grappling coach in there with him, Daniel Preby. Coming up now, Mark Cano. I don't know much about Mark, to be honest with you. Mark's looking pretty calm as he walks in. Yep, looks like he's making his debut. Chase was a is a one and zero fighter, I believe. Yes, one and zero. This is the eighth fight of the evening. This fight is scheduled for three. All right, here we go. Fighter announcements. In the right weight division, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He holds an amateur record of two wins with one loss. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Oregon, representing Team Chaos, introducing Babyface Chase Pauly. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he also holds an amateur record of two wins with one loss. He also stands. 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Pendleton, Oregon, representing Solid Base Jiu-Jitsu. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing anonymous Mark Cano. Your referee, Sean Gregory. All right, referee Sean Gregory's ready. Fighters are ready. Here we go. We got uh, Chase Holly in the white tights and uh, Cano in the red. I know Holly uh, is, I would think, wanting to take it to the ground, seeing as how he, he works a lot in his jiu-jitsu. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Looks like he's uh, comfortable standing up, and he looks real loosey-goosey, that's for sure. in his debut. He doesn't look like he's really got any jitters. Willing to stand in there and fight, that is for sure. Check leg kick. Again. Anything you can do, I can do at exactly the same time. Chase working that, uh, that left hook, trying to sneak it in. Good kick by Cano. Chase is going to throw that left jab out there a lot. Cano needs to work on softening up that front left leg of Hollies uh, to try and take some power out of that jab, even if he is just sticking it out there. Chase has got to be setting up for something if he's just throwing that jab out there. That's one thing you'll see with, with fighters that have good good to, to very good hands is they're going to sneak that, that jab in and then they're going to throw something right behind it and disguise that, that second punch with that first jab so the opponent doesn't see it coming. Chin down. 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 Chin Yeah, I kind of get the sense they're still really pulling each other out. Yeah, which in an amateur fight, you, you don't have a whole lot of time to do that. I mean, maybe, maybe part of the first round, but you, know, you can't you can't take your time to feel like a guy out when you got nine minutes to try and you know, beat him into submission. And 
with the first round. Not sure. I think I would probably give that round to uh, Chase. Ready for round number two. K. George close. Here we go. Yep. So far, uh, haven't gone to the ground at all. Exactly like I thought it wouldn't go, but uh, Chase letting those hands go. Cano, seems like he's, he's a counter puncher because he's, he's waiting for Chase to throw out there before he comes back with anything. And Chase working on that double. Wrist control. Heat side note, when guys are pushed up against the cage right at the door, it freaks me out every time. I'm afraid somebody's going to fall out of the cage. I've seen it happen once. I've seen it happen myself. Canada with good pressure up against the cage, but he's got to do something with this pressure. Like he was working down Chase trying to get those underhooks. Left underhook if he can get the bonus. I think they're going to get stood up here pretty soon. And there we go. Sean Gregory stands him up. Breaks him up. They're already standing. He's mixing his punches and kicks up real well, trying to keep uh, Cano off balance. Cano needs to uh, come in with a combination or two and just throw singles at him. Chase is, is using that jab for distance. Oh! Good left leg kick right there, following with two left hooks. Didn't even phase Cano right. Yeah, Cano just kind of walked right through there. Right? Got that look on his face like that's what you got. All right. You better be careful with that uh, short leg kick that he keeps missing with because he could get a, get a leg taken out from under him. A good teep right there. So it's some great movement. Nothing out there. Yeah, he's, he is in condition, that's for sure. And he's, he's not staying in the same place, which is good. Good left and right hand by, by Cano. Good throw right at the end of the round. I, th I think I would probably give that round to Chase again. I've got this two to nothing with, uh, for Holly going into the third round here. I think Cano's got to do something to, uh, to win this round. Judging by the fact that he's more aggressive in this round, I think his corner probably said that to him. Right gets aggressive when he wants to be. Almost caught Chase with that Superman punch. Yeah, I agree. He's been relaxed the whole time, but maybe maybe he's a little bit too relaxed. Yeah, I mean, there, there's there is a difference between you know being relaxed and, and being you know, non-aggressive. And I think in the first two rounds he really wasn't aggressive enough to you know, sway the judges in his favor, at least in my opinion. Yeah, he, he just doesn't have enough punches. Like, it's not that what he's doing isn't effective, and, and vice versa with Holly. But Holly is proving to be much more active and. There's a nice left yeah, and I think, and I think that's kind of the key to this whole thing is, is Holly is just more active. Yeah, both these guys, I think, look great though. They uh, yeah, the left hand right there. Mm -hmm. just 
Well, Holly's not going to give him an easy target. No, but Cano, he just he's standing right in front of him, standing still. He's not cutting angles. I think he's just looking for the counter punch. At this point, he, he definitely needs to be a wrestler. I mean, if you are, I have, I have it scared the same way you do. I don't, I don't know what Kano's background is in terms of wrestling or jiu-jitsu, but it, that might be something to maybe th there it was trying to feign a uh, takedown, but that's probably where I would go with it, is trying to get that takedown. Get inside distance, get in the pocket, and well, he thought about it right there for a second. She said, nope, but that kick. Throw some punches out there, change the level, and take somebody down. Right, time running out. Chase has got good vision when it comes to this stand-up. Kind of interested to see what he's like on the ground since I always thought that was his bread and butter was jiu-jitsu. Kano looking like he's trying to get a little flurry started here. aggressive as we uh, finish the fight right there. I've got this fight uh, going to Chase Holly all three rounds. Yeah, that's how I have it too. Holly. All right, Great fans, job with the head movement. Just, just never was an easy target at all. Can't all not three judges go to contest. 29, 28. But judging by their face, I would think that uh, Cano won because Chase looks like he marks up easy. But there's your winner by unanimous decision. Babyface Chase Holly. I think that moves him to 2-0 right now. Good fight. Everybody needs a picture with a ring girl. I really thought that was a great fight. 